Hello everyone, my name is Aura and welcome to the 26th devlog of my base building game, Chambers of Devious Design. I'll try to keep this one fairly short as I recently got the trendiest virus of recent times. I'm already feeling pretty good but not quite 100%. Okay, let's start. So in the last two weeks a lot of my time went towards finishing this controller support and navigation feature and now it is pretty much finished. Uh, I think I will still need to make small adjustments later on but yeah, currently everything that I have in the game works and yeah, I also finished this uh, custom game lobby and I also added a saving and loading functionality to it so all these settings uh, will be remembered from the last time you played a custom game so yeah that's pretty cool and related to controller support I also added the ability to rebind your controller keys so previously I only had the mouse and keyboard here but now there's this handy toggle and it will automatically detect which uh, which input device you are using and toggle that on automatically. While this might seem simple enough since I already had this like mouse and keyboard rebindings here, uh, there were actually quite a few quirks I had to solve. I won't go deeper into the details but yeah there were many things I had to solve related to these and just generally related to the controller support. And then another feature I spent time on mostly testing was the multiplayer. So I'm using Steam Remote Play for the easy ability to play the game against your Steam friends. Let me actually demo it for you, it works really smoothly. So now I launch the game through Steam and I have my laptop here, which will function as the second player. So once I'm in the game, I just go ahead and invite my second account into the game. And the only thing I need to do on the laptop is just basically accept the invite. And then I will be in the game. Let's see. Yeah, I just need to take those windows out and yeah. So yeah, now it's in the same game session, so if I Okay, yeah, I don't think you can see actually, but if I open, for example, this lobby here, it will show on the laptop also. So it's basically just streaming the same game session. And let's see if I set the second player as controller one. This is now con uh, connected to the laptop. So yeah, I can now use it to change the character even though it's like on a different device so yeah that's that's pretty cool i tested it out and you don't actually even need a controller you can just use the mouse on the second device also to control the mouse of the first device but uh, it, it works more smoothly if you're using a controller so let's see i just go into the game and yeah i don't know if there's anything special to show but Basically, it works really smoothly, so nothing happens because it's the first player's turn, turn who is using the mouse. So I place this one here and now on the second device, I can freely control it and place a block, let's say, here. And yeah, it's basically like playing a local multiplayer game, but you can play through the internet. Aside from that stuff, I also did a bunch of like smaller things in the game, like for example this show and hide button here, so if you're choosing options you can hide the window and then yeah, <laughs> look at stuff while you decide and then go back and choose, choose whatever choice <laughs> you want to choose. Then I also fix a bunch of bugs that appeared out of nowhere. Like for example, I noticed that my rooms started moving really fast all of a sudden. And I had to scratch my head a bit what was causing it. 
until I remembered the usual suspect, which is the frames per second setting. I had forgotten to set the controller room movement speed to be independent of the FPS setting, so I fixed that and and then there was the funny bug that if the AI had two abilities of the same kind in a row, that could actually crash the game because the AI thought that he could use the second ability even if he couldn't. And then there was also a bug that could cause an endless loop if he had specific rooms next to each other when you finished a room. Yeah, basically <laughs> random bugs that just appeared out of nowhere while I was tinkering with the game. But yeah, of course, that happens and I'm happy that I noticed the bugs now rather than later on after the <laughs> game is already out. But yeah, that was pretty much everything I worked on in the last two weeks. As mentioned, I was a bit sick for a while there, so I had to work shorter days, but luckily I still got a good amount of work done. <laughs> Probably more than I <laughs> should have. <laughs> Alright, but hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.